Gukharin Doss is one of the great public intellectuals of our time. An academic, a business leader, a journalist, and an author of the international bestseller, India Unbound, his most recent book is entitled The Difficulty of Being Good. Gukharin Doss is also a champion of freedom. He became involved with the Center for Civil Society, a think tank founded in New Delhi, India, with Atlas support in 1997. He now chairs its board. Recently, he visited with Atlas to discuss the center's work in furthering school choice. I feel gratified that an organization I'm associated with, the Center for Civil Society, has created an awareness about vouchers. After Milton Friedman passed away in 2007, the Center for Civil Society was inspired to educate the public in India about school choice vouchers through a massive public awareness campaign. They assembled a network of 250 like-minded partners around the country and launched two school voucher pilot projects to demonstrate the idea successfully. I'm very, very concerned with education reform in India. Um, and one, that reform really means that we have to get the state to liberalize. In 2009, the Center for Civil Society's work bore fruit. India adopted a new law that responded to much of what the Center for Civil Society was advocating. The government has finally recognized that state schools are failing. It has mandated that one-fourth of the seats in private schools should be reserved for the poor. And the government has decided to pay for this. So this becomes the largest voucher program in the world where millions of children in India now will get a state subsidy to go to the private schools. What they did was to create this great voucher program, which in some ways would be an inspiration to other countries, including the United States. But not all the effects of the law will be positive. Gukharin is concerned about the onerous requirements that the law places on private schools. He's worried these requirements will be the end of many of the schools that have emerged to serve the poor. What the state wants to do is close them down. And that's what we are trying to avoid. One of the provisions of this new law in India is to close unrecognized private schools. And the government says that you have to have a playing field the size of a football field if you want recognition. Now, in an urban area where the cost of real estate is what it is, how can a poor school which charges $3 a month have a football field? Secondly, they say that you must pay school teachers the same salary as a government school teacher. Now, the government school teacher actually is, earns aristocratic wages. The reason is the union, the teachers' union is very powerful. It's part of the civil service. It's a job for life. And so now, because of the latest uh, negotiation, the ta salary of a teacher is 22,000 rupees start. That's seven times the per capita income of India. Gukharin and the Center for Civil Society are educating state officials in charge of implementing the law, so its practical effects are positive and not harmful to the schools that have provided an outlet to India's most disadvantaged citizens. You have to allow freedom to people to choose. You have to give people choice. And when you take away that choice, you make people less than, less than human in the process. It is clear that the Center for Civil Society's efforts to popularize school choice are having an impact. The policy battle will be long, but Gukharin Doss and the Center for Civil Society are committed to fighting for improved educational opportunities for all students. To learn more about the work of the Center for Civil Society to improve education in India, visit schoolchoice.in. And to learn more about the other Atlas Freedom Champions who are advancing free market public policies around the world, explore atlasnetwork.org.